Good morning and thank you for joining TWEC's Daily Devotion. And this morning's topic would be on Being Joyful Despite How Sorrowful. And joyful means to be cheerful, happy, jolly, merry, and so on. While sorrowful is defined as being unhappy, depressed, miserable, downhearted, down, and the like. Therefore, sorrowful is the opposite to being joyful. So, which one do we want to be? Do we want to be joyful or sorrowful? I'm sure we all can agree, we choose to be joyful. We'd all choose to be happy and bubbly. But the storms of life are real and there are times we would be sorrowful. But do we really want to stay that way? No way. The thing is, we all go through joyful times and sorrowful seasons at different points in our lives. In some instances, the sorrow outweighs the joy. But today, we are going to learn to turn that around. Let's turn our sorrow into joy. Proverbs 17 verse 22 says, A joyful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. So here are some tips to having a joyful heart, to having good medicine. Firstly, seek to identify the triggers of sorrow. These could be as a result of sickness, death in our family, loss of a job, family disputes, financial difficulties, and just problems in general. The list could go on. Secondly, once you've identified the sorrow triggers, you should have a plan to treat with them. Decide in advance when the sorrow comes, how you could quickly turn it around, how you could quickly flip it so that you don't stay in that sorrowful state. For example, let's take loss of a job. Do you just sit around and mope and feel sorry for yourself? Well, yes, maybe for a while. That's okay. But hear what? You have to pick yourself up. Apply the word of God. Understand that he is your provider. Do your part. Start to send out job applications. Pray about it and give thanks in advance for that job opening. Wait joyfully. And with the confidence that God is your Jehovah Jireh, your provider. Another example is that there may be a lot of confusion in your home. A lot of arguments taking place that's causing sorrow, heartache, and vexation. Should you let it remain like that? No way. As believers, we have to take a stand and influence the change in our homes as guided by the Almighty. Pray for your family. Pray for peace. Do a self-introspection. Ask some questions. Am I contributing to the craziness going on in the home? What can I do differently to bring about the peace? You can also seek the advice from the elders of the church and continue to pray and speak a resolution into being. Claim that peace which would in turn release the joy back into your home. As such, don't let your bones be dried up, as we know that dry bones lead to death, either physical or spiritual death. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 37, God wanted Ezekiel to speak to those dry bones. He wanted Ezekiel to speak life into those dry bones, so he had to speak the word of the Lord. So in closing, let's crush those dry bones with joyfulness and applying and speaking the word of God to our situations today. And remember to smile and don't let anyone steal your joy. God bless you.